Katie, welcome back to Still a Spotlight. I'm here today with new hair, nonetheless. What do we think? Personally, it didn't solve all life's issues for me, so I don't really know how to feel, but I am very keen for today's video. I've got a handful of key pieces I'm gonna be styling multiple ways today, all of which are from Ledin. They are the sponsor of today's video, which I was really excited about because I had actually been saving items from them on Instagram to my wish list for quite some time now, and you guys will get it once you see the brand. It is so me, very K-fashion inspired with like those preppy elements meets something a little bit more edgy and fun. What made them specifically stand out to me was that they weren't just selling the same stuff as every other kawaii online fashion store. It doesn't feel micro trendy. They have some more unique pieces that still have a really timeless fashionable feel to them. Oh, and before we get into the actual outfits, I do have a discount code for you. It is KD20, which is of course 20% off. So the first item is actually this bow top I was already wearing. I wasn't planning on including this outfit because it is very casual, but as Sam likes to remind me, my version of casual and the majority is probably quite different. Like to me, I'm going grocery shopping in this. Almost kind of casual off duty vibes, but if your style was really cutesy, you could totally just wear this as a crop top. Me, not so much because apparently I overestimated the size of my titties and sized up to a medium, you know, I was thinking Asian sizing, but no. Definitely should have just stuck to my regular size small. And in general, I would say I could have just stuck to a small for everything, except for the bottoms. I'm happy I did size up to a medium in those. I actually saw Ning Ning wearing a somewhat similar top. Hers was more dramatic, perfect for photo shoots, stage performances, whereas this is a good compromise where it's actually wearable for every day. But I decided to take that as a sign to do an Asper inspired fit. If there's one thing about me is that I am my biggest hater. I'm so critical of all the outfits I put together in these videos, but this, Instantly, I have fallen in love, obsessed. If you're not so much into the K-pop reference, I think it's also given a little bit Shugo Chara as well. The only criticism is that this skirt is way too short. I need to break out the safety shorts pronto. But other than that, I'm obsessed with the look. And I think this top is actually making a good case for itself to become a layering staple for me. For example, this outfit is very typical of my style, but previously I might've opted for a harness instead, but I actually prefer this because it brings in more of that girly style that I like as well. So I could see this being a great substitute when a harness feels like too much or just not fitting the vibe. Okay, option number three, what do we think? I love it. I wanted to challenge myself to do something a little bit fancier, more formal and it's giving very that. Typically I would have styled this with a short black skirt, think very red velvet psycho era, but this skirt has been sitting in my wardrobe for years and years and rarely gets to see the light of day because I never know how to style it, but I was very inspired by a picture I had recently seen of Best Dressed. I don't go to events or anything, so I don't see myself wearing it out anytime soon, but I do feel very pretty. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said they do really good, fashionable, timeless pieces. They're still feel unique and not boring because duh it's a little black dress and even these kind of structured blazed styles have been a popular staple for quite some time but i love the idea of adding this little fluffy bubble hem to it like without even layering anything already i have a juxtaposition in my outfit also just a moment for the shoulders please because it is the perfect amount of puff we're starting off strong with a go-to classic of mine, the Mary Jane sock combo. I also really like opting for such a cropped blazer since we do have that drop waist silhouette. It's just a fun play with the proportions and taking it one step further with the buckled belt to really give the illusion of a snatched waist. Since it is such a simple outfit, it really is all in the details. For example, the way that the collars lay perfectly on each other is really doing it for me. It's giving twice promo and I mean, let's face it, probably every other girl group at this point because who hasn't done this concept? Apparently for good reason, because it does look very good. Before I get any further into this one, I forgot to mention it does actually come with this chain as well, which I love. It's such a cool accessory. But yes, this time I really tried to dress it down to something more casual. So I opted for the Converse sneakers, the little baseball cap, both of which I feel like are still like wardrobe staples when it comes to K-pop casual wardrobes. You guys know usually I cannot go without layering, but I actually think this is really cute as is and would be a great summer option. But if I did need to add a jacket, this would be it. Please tell me why I am not currently at the Ayazawa exhibition or a TXT concert because that is what this outfit deserves. And I'm just falling more and more in love with this dress as we go on. Honestly, it could turn into how to style one dress 20 ways, but 
I think we need to put a pin in it and move on for now. Moving on to the little white dress. This one is very like cupcake cutesy with the tiered layers and also the fact that it has more of a baby doll sort of silhouette. This leans more ultra femme compared to everything else being more in the preppy sort of category. So I'm gonna see if we can dress it down a little bit. I decided to try and channel like eclectic K-drama side character, if you will. Not so sure what everyone is gonna be about it. Maybe if I change the shoes. Personally, I love a good sweater vest still, and I really liked the idea of doing a really subtle pattern clash with the accessories. I think I like it. It's probably just been a while since I've worn this sort of style, especially the hat. Like, that's been a hot minute. Okay, but hear me out. What if we just go full blown creepy doll? Like, I kind of like it. This vintage sleepwear piece is the perfect layer because it's not taking away from the original silhouette of the dress. Also, I feel like I should get bonus points because the soft pink just really nicely complements the new hair color. I was starting to switch into the next look and I was like, wait a minute, what if we bring back the bow top from before and see how it looks with just a little bit of added black to the look? Maybe it'll make it less costumey. I think it's cute. I would definitely wear it maybe for more of a fancy sort of brunch. You know what I'm saying? You may be thinking, Katie, why do you keep adding to the dress? It's pretty on its own, which yes, you are correct. But I feel like we all know that. We can see that. So I'm just trying to see how I can style it different ways because to me, if I'm buying a new item, it's important that I am actually able to get my wear out of it. So we're going one more round. So instead of going for my usual fishnet chunky boot combo, I decided to go for something a little bit more streamlined. Do you guys remember when I used to wear this bum bag as a little purse all the time? Like, I don't know why I stopped doing that. So I'm bringing it back. And of course, if you wanted an outerwear layer, I think just the classic leather blazer would finish it off nicely. Actually, maybe I prefer it without. If you guys are in the market for a blazer, look no further. They have so many good options. I mean, you guys know how incredibly indecisive I am and this truly was a challenge. Since I do already have some neutral ones in my closet, I decided to go for something a little bit more fun and opted for this pale lilac one with the most adorable bow detailing. This parcel arrived late last week and as soon as I had the chance, I wore it out on the weekend and actually got a couple of compliments, mind you. So I feel like we can consider it a winner. Some might think that having the bows on both the blazer and the stockings is a little bit too on the nose, but I mean, come on. This is my style we're talking about. I feel like you would describe it as somewhat cartoonish. So having a matchy matchy moment kind of makes sense. I'm not about that effortless look. I think this is probably the only outfit that isn't instantly recognizable as something that I would typically wear. I'm just not that much of a business casual girly, but I still wanted to include this for those of you who are. I do think the fact that the blazer is in this pastel tone with the cutesy details helps make me feel a little bit more comfortable and myself rather than going for something too sleek and sophisticated. Plus the graphic tee is wrestling themed, which if you know me, you know that is very on brand. I just quickly look back at the footage and I don't actually know if I liked it. Um, I don't know, maybe the graphic was a little bit too big so it's kind of distracting. So I just tried it on with something plain as well in case you wanted to envision it in like a more simple outfit as well. Yeah, it's the Kiana stand back at it again. I mean, come on now. Does this not look like something she would wear? She has done the purple tutu moment before as well, I know. And this is actually the next item that we're highlighting. It gives big K-pop stage performance energy in general. So I decided just to go all in on it. I carried over the same blazer. We love an interchangeable mix and match moment and decided to go with the pearl accents. I don't know, there's something about it that just helps me live my princess fantasy. <laughs> So for my other outfit with this skirt, I've gone almost 80s inspired from the leg warmers to the patterned sweater, but it also kind of reads as a very toned down version of Harajuku style. And I actually thrifted this sweater when I was in Japan, one of my favorite finds, but I do have trouble styling it sometimes just because it is quite long and boxy as well. But I think it teams so nicely by having just the last tier of the choo-choo peek out. Super cute. I feel like I would consider myself somewhat of a plaid skirt connoisseur. At this point, I have so many of them and this one is definitely getting the tick of approval. I really like that it has the double layers of pleats because it means 
it's so much more wearable for just everyday activities rather than just looks good in photos but feels way too short to actually be out and about in. Plus it's just an extra detail that makes this a more unique option. I'm just continuing the warm neutrals with this little brown vest but I'm wondering if it would be just a slight colour pop to do this yellow tie. Yeah I think that complements the colours of the skirt nicely. Overall I do think it's a cute look. My only concern is Am I leaning kind of Girl Scout? I don't know, I have no context on that as an Australian, but um, maybe? You know what, she might just have to be a neutrals girl now because I am obsessed with this outfit. I feel like a little character who's just gotten dressed up to go on a little adventure. I love it. Since it is all in the same color family, I tried to go for varying shades throughout the accessories and then obviously the print clashing with the stripe in the jacket and the plaid in the skirt. I just thrifted this Marc Jacobs jacket recently and I think the cut teams perfectly with the skirt and also really just set the tone for the overall vibe. I couldn't help myself, I had to get a sweater vest. I originally got into them back in 2018 when I first discovered K-pop and even though since then they've become a mainstream trend and then kind of fallen out out of favor. I feel like us K-pop stands aren't gonna let it go that easily. And I mean you can't tell me this isn't cute. I feel like if I put this outfit on I am destined to have a fun day. It's giving let's go to the city, check out an aesthetic cafe, maybe go to the art gallery, do a bit of window shopping. You know what I mean? You get the vibe, right? Denim has obviously been a staple for a very long time. You could easily pair this back with just a pair of jeans but I thought I'd try the denim midi skirt instead just to switch things up. I know that that's been pretty trendy recently. I don't necessarily know if I can pull it off. I don't know. It's a little bit too cool girl for me maybe But in theory, I love it. Like if I saw someone else wearing it, I'd be living What do we think? Does it suit me or should I be more of a jeans girl? This was the last piece I chose and I was so undecided going back and forth for ages on whether or not I would actually like it and wear it but so glad I did because this might just be my favorite pick of the bunch. It is this little sailor collared denim jacket. Now that I've actually got it in person to try it on, it is the perfect fit, super flattering, and again, just a twist on such an old staple piece. Totally reminds me of something we'd see in Sailor Moon when they're in their cute and casual looks, which makes sense because this is another outfit where I feel like a cute little character. Oh, this is very going to the markets appropriate, which I am doing this Saturday, so trust I will be wearing this. And for me, this is a case where I feel like I am pulling off the midi length. I don't know, maybe not everyone will think so with the cowboy boots, but I like it. And those are all the pieces I have to style today. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know which looks were your favorite. And if you are interested in any of the pieces, I'll have them all linked down below in the description box, as well as my discount code for Leaden. Thank you again to them for sponsoring today's video. And of course, thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.